With spring just two weeks away, a lot of Canadians are starting to look at winter through the rearview mirror. But across the prairies tonight, it's right in their face. Most of Manitoba is still in the grips of a massive storm that blew in last night, causing chaos on the highways. Hundreds of motorists were stranded on the Trans-Canada overnight as the sideways snow created zero visibility. By morning, the line of trapped cars stretched for a stunning 11 kilometers. Even snow plows and police were kept off the roads. There are so many weather warnings, the entire province is painted red. But as CTV's Manitoba Bureau Chief Jill Makachon reports, the only color you could see today was white. Even by Manitoba standards, this blizzard is a wicked one. A whiteout that slowed traffic to a crawl and then stopped it altogether. You know what, at first you, you really didn't see a whole lot because it was almost zero visibility. First we seen a bunch of brake lights and uh, got a little bit close. We seen a couple of semis turn sideways. Trapped on the Trans-Canada Highway, Sean Schofer and hundreds of others spent a cold night waiting out the storm, only to find more trouble in the morning. Their vehicles stuck in half a metre of snow. Local firefighters from the nearby town of Alexander used snowmobiles to bring gas and food to stranded motorists and then helped bring more than 70 people to town for shelter. By mid-afternoon, the blowing snow warnings extending from the Saskatchewan border all the way to Winnipeg. Almost every highway in western Manitoba is closed today with wind gusts to 70 kilometers per hour. Driving is just too dangerous. RCMP warning people to stay home. It uh, puts all our officers in danger when they're responding to the Stratton Motors and people that are injured on the highways. Almost every rural school in western and northern parts of the province closed today, including Flin Flon, where kids have had only one other snow day in 27 years. More than 400 customers in western Manitoba without power may not have it restored until morning. Hydro crews trying to get to calls were also stopped by the storm. It is pretty nasty, yeah. Okay. Can't see anything. Manitoba RCMP have reported no casualties as a result of the blizzard, but near the community of Esterhazy in Saskatchewan, a highway crash killed a tow truck driver. With the blizzard conditions extending into the evening, the warnings are too. And already some school divisions are preparing for another snow day tomorrow. Jill Makishon, CTV News, near Treehern, Manitoba.